Welcome to The Platter, where we serve you the best film, fashion, and food. I'm your host, Denise. This is my co-host, Obi, and we have a special guest today, Mr. Percy. How are you doing? How are you doing today? I'm all right. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty good. Obi, how are you feeling today? I feel great. Feel great. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So... Today we're going to be talking about the movie we reviewed, which is Us, which was written, produced, and directed by Jordan Peele. Yes. So, Obi, tell us what the movie is actually about. So, um, the movie uh, is about this lady by the name of Adelaide Wilson. Mm -hmm. um, they are actually in a, on a vacation at her beachfront home where she grew up as a child. Um, she's accompanied by her family, husband, two kids. Um, it opens up with them waking up, her actually waking up when they get to the property and you can tell she's really not into it. She's not feeling the whole vacation. Come to find out uh, this has to do with something that happened in her past. Um, she has this eerie feeling that mm -hmm. something is bound to happen and she just wants to go home. She, she just doesn't want, doesn't want to be there. Now the whole craziness escalates when four people show up in front of their home. And this four people being exact duplicate of a family. Oh my god. I Let that sink out. in. Let that I sink in. Imagine somebody show up in front of your house that look just like you. I'm good. I don't want another me. I'm oh, packing oh, us and I'm, I'm okay going somewhere me. else. So yeah, it, it, it kind of kicks off the, the whole movie and um yeah, it's it's entertaining to say the least. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, as you guys know, Jordan Peele was the director, writer, and the producer. Mm -hmm. um, it did have a phenomenal cast. Yes. Um, Lupita uh, Youngo. Youngo. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and she played Adela Adela Adelaide. Adelaide. What did I say? Adelaide. Yes. Adelaide, Adelaide Wilson. Yes. And then her husband, which was Winston Duke, Duke. he played <laughs> Gabe, Gabe. Uh, Wilson. Yes. He. <laughs> Did a phenomenal job. Absolutely. Um, and then there's Elizabeth Moss. You have Tim uh, Heidecker, and the list goes on and on. Mm -hmm. um, so, Percy, how did you like it? I liked the movie. Um, I felt like it had a lot of undertones that some people might absolutely look over. But right. um, all in all, I thought it was a decent job as far as for what. I didn't go in expecting anything from his old movie. Oh, okay. I came in with oh, like me. Because he did. I went in expecting something. I expected to be scared watching cartoons afterwards, so I was already prepared for his twistedness of his all his movies. Did you? Were you scared? Yes, I was. Okay. Ooh, well, <laughs> I don't know. For me, I was not scared, and I'm not going to lie to you, I was expecting a whole lot. Maybe because of the previous movie. Mm -hmm. Get Out uh, and I thought Get Out was amazing but this one yes to go with what you say Percy yes they had so many uh, underlying messages the the Bible message uh, yes Jeremiah 11, like 11. Said, yeah. yeah and before we started off you know the colors oh yeah like with the colors how with the red and the blue with today's climate mm -hmm. you would think about like the political parties and things like that mm -hmm. and so that's something that I paid attention to in the movie. Yeah. And then there was this message just before the movie started. Something about the tunnels and the... Oh, yes. The underground. Uh, underground. Level. Yeah. That are all over the U.S. But not by... Like, nobody knows it's there. Nobody right. They're hidden. And they're not yeah. being used. They're yeah. not being used. So, it, it, in the movie, those come to play a part. Right. A Because you, you see it come into play and nobody knows about it. Mm -hmm. But... Like I said, I, I was maybe because I was expecting a whole lot, and, and I'm sorry, that's just me. No, hey. But um, yeah, it, 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 was, it was cool. It's, it's a cool movie. Like I, like you guys said, they had some some messages. I think this is one of those movies that I believe you need to see it maybe a second time. Is I think it's gonna spark some kind of debate or some questions. Um, but yeah, I think it's deeper than. Yeah. Yeah. What what you see. So I, maybe I should see it a second time. You know, I don't want to because I think Phil is is, is great. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I I need to see it because maybe it just went over my head. I don't want to. You know, but that's me. But since I'm coming off a bit negative, what are the positives? Like, who did you like? What scenes? Like, go ahead. 
Um, I liked. I mean, I love the music. Mm. The Loonies. I know yeah. you guys are racking up on that now. Um, with the symphony added into it, that gave that uh, that creepiness to yeah. it, right? Right. Um, I liked. Honestly, I don't have a favorite part. I just like. I liked his. Just his creativity in it, honestly. I don't really have a favorite part because I was scared anyway, so <laughs> I'm not gonna have a favorite. But I did like the fact um, how the storyline behind the story, how everything came about, how she actually came, I'm not trying to tell you guys the whole story, but she did, Adelaide, uh, she did come back to her, the other side of her, and actually broke it down to why she was there. Mm. That part, that's usually not something that you know, suspenseful thrillers actually do in the movie. Right. They yeah, make yeah. you guess. Um, I so I like that little wishbone of that one. How about, How about you, you Percy? Um, my favorite character is probably Gabe, the father. Absolutely. Um, it's just, I just love the scene when the family actually showed up and after he went back in, like, let me get something oh, yeah. to come back out. <laughs> and he came out like, hey, yeah. <laughs> I told you I'll get off my property. <laughs> and then once that didn't happen, it's like, okay, now we can call the police. Yes. <laughs> I, I like Gabe good. too. I like Gabe too. I, I thought he was amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, he had some, yeah. some funny... Uh, like comical relief, comical relief uh, in, in the movie. I like the other husband, uh, the other white guy. Oh, oh uh, Josh. Josh. Yes, I thought he was he was, he was pretty cool. Um, and then speaking of uh, the loonies that use in there, towards the ending, there's this kind of I don't want to call it a fight sequence. It's kind of like theatrical where she's dancing mm-hmm. but fighting and he cuts the beat into kind of like a symphony that is that was amazing, amazing. I, yes. I thought that was brilliant because for a second i'm like am i hearing the loonies but yeah, in, 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 yes. like, <laughs> the loonies might just win an oscar like, right <laughs> right three six mafia did it yeah. so they did it. like I, 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 I love that so Kudos to him on on that one, and then the the little like going back to the whole comical relief when uh, I can't remember the exact song it was where um, they played and the kids were like who's that like oh yeah I, I can't remember uh, they it. said um, I know it was a song and they were was I think it, it was the Loonies too yes the first time the daughter, they were in the, the daughter was like it's about drugs yeah yeah and he was, <laughs> so <laughs> I, I love I love that so I love the little comical relief the yeah, one right? part I. I know you asked what part did I like. However, the part that really ticked me off was when the daughter had to run. And we had just talked about her being in a track star. Oh, that is true. That is true. She was not running for nothing. <laughs> she should have been off the track star. Now I understand why she wasn't in the track meet. <laughs> how did the other girl beat her in, in the Jesus sandals? That's because, well, because, that's because well, let's not give up the movie. We're not going to tell the movie, we're not gonna tell the movie but yeah. that's the only part. Y'all watch it and you guys will understand where I'm coming from about this this part. That one scene right there, I was just through. I you was have to like, look at the clones more of like the people under the stairs on super strength that's steroids. True, that is so true. it's like, that's how she caught it. <laughs> They've yeah. been training for this for years. That's They've true. Been training but for still, this. It's like the Olympics. You know, I just didn't. I like that. Oh, and then um, I almost forgot the body count when they're trying to drive <laughs> off, and they're, they're having this debate of who who's drives, driving? who's driving first, based off of who killed who more, more right. people or whatever. That was pretty. That was funny. Funny, <laughs> but um, yeah. So it, it's. It has its good sides, and uh, but like I said, overall, it, it's it's okay. But I do want to ask you though. I saw your T-shirt. Like I love. Oh, you see, it's straight out of Brooklyn. I always got to give Nighty some love, but yours. So, yeah, can you tell us a little about the No Face? Okay, so earlier today, since okay. you guys know, I am a scary cat of movies. But you watched a movie. I know, but I was still like. Yeah, I'm uh, not gonna lie. <laughs> My bad, I'm sorry. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get some retail therapy. Are you serious so, right now? Yes. Don't judge me. This is a no judgment zone. I had to. So I went over to Kingdom Styles and I went and I purchased some items. 
and now I'm just rocking it because I feel better now and more confident and not scared of the movie anymore. So okay. it helped me. So for our next horror movie, I need a shirt like that so I don't get scared. That's when I'm not going. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to have um, nightmares anymore. But for you guys um, to go ahead and check out myself and Kingdom Styles, you guys want to check it out? Let's do it. Okay. We are here at Kingdom Styles with the owner, Tamika. Hi. How are you doing today? I'm well. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Thank you so much for asking. So this is your own boutique, Yes, correct? I am. Great. Now, how long, tell me, how long have you been in this, this industry? So I've been actually doing my own boutique for like three years, but I, I love clothes. Always. Since I was a kid. <laughs> okay. So this is just a natural passion for you. Yes. Great. So when we were talking, you know, by ourselves, um, you did mention that you started off in your home? Yes. So when I came, I went to Nigeria in 2016 and I wanted to um, showcase all the beautiful fabrics that I saw okay. while I was in Nigeria. And when I came, you know, I started trying to sell the clothes that way. Right. And then nobody really. So I said, what if I put American style on African fabric? So kind of like combine them. The two. The yes. two. That's awesome. Yes. Great. It's great. Phenomenal idea. So how has that been going for you now? It's been going well. Okay. American clothes sell more, so I do both now. Okay. So I do American clothes and African American clothes. Yeah. American we African could, clothes. Just African American, you know, because Nigerian fabric. Right. Ankara. Okay. There you, okay. Go. there you go. So I did watch that movie Us last night. Pretty creepy. Not gonna lie. So that's why I came by today to get some retail therapy going on so that I could get myself back nice and cleanse of nice good aura you know like after you watch a scary movie or something that's suspenseful I don't know about you guys but I have to usually end up watching cartoons <laughs> some comedy <laughs> or, retail or, or retail therapy just to redirect my mind um, so that's why I'm here today um, so I would like to check out some of your stuff. I can and... definitely help you with oh, clothes. Nice. So, yes. All right. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to let Miss Tamika do what she does best. Thank you so much for having me here at the Kingdom Style. Um, it was so, I had so much fun, you know, trying on the dresses and, you know, some of the jumpsuits as well that you have. I'm actually gonna be taking this bad boy home today. And might even hang out a little bit. Okay. So, um, you have a Facebook page, correct? Mm -hmm. And it is Kingdom Styles International? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so go ahead, you guys, check Miss Tamika out in Kingdom Styles at Kingdom Styles International on our Facebook page. And so what about, you know, our retail therapy, you know, customers that want to come and shop? Do you have a website? I do. Um, it's Kingdom Styles, the styles is S-T-Y-L-Z-I-N-T-L dot Perfect. So you guys, go ahead, check out the Facebook, like it, of course, and also Click and shop, add to that, that cart for Kingdom Styles International. Now let's talk about the food. Okay. So, Tanise, I see some beautiful food in front of us. Yes. But before we indulge, can okay. you please uh, let our viewers know where we are? Yeah, of course. We are here at the Caribbean Queen here in Tempe, off of Mill and Baseline. So if you're around the area, or if you're not, if you want to indulge in some great Caribbean food, come on over. So what are you having? I'm gonna be having some jerk fish with some cabbage and some rice. Rice and peas. And peas, yeah. Okay. Percy, what are you having? I'm gonna be having the oxtails with the cabbage and the rice and peas. Okay. 
and you know I'm excited. I see jerk chicken. <laughs> it has cabbage, rice and peas, and some beautiful things sprinkled at the top. Mm -hmm. We'll find out what it is, but it looks it looks amazing. I know. How about the drinks? Um, I am having the queen punch. Okay. Percy? I'm having the longest island iced tea. Okay. Ooh. Longest island. Okay. <laughs> I'm having uh, the Queen's lemonade. Okay. I can't wait. So, ladies first. All right. Um, let's try this out. Does it pack a punch? Mm -hmm. It does. It's very tropical y. The rum sets really good. You know, it reminds me of a sunset. It does look like a sunset, you know, yeah? It does look like one. I, I don't know. Okay. I like it. Well, you like it, okay. Percy? Percy. Uh, Color looks interesting. I know, it's like a sky. Okay, so it does taste like a Long Island iced tea, but like with the twist, it has like a little citrus flavor in it. Okay. okay. It has like a little punch to it. Nice, nice. And Obi, go ahead, try it out. Yeah, it says lemonade, so I'm hoping no alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Dude. Yeah? You like it? How is it? It has a, I don't know how to, I don't know what to call it, but it, it's different. It's, it's very nice, very subtle. Okay. Good for the afternoon. Okay, Yeah, perfect. so I can still drive home. <laughs> well, nice. Yeah, so <laughs> let's try to dig in. Now. Okay. First, Percy. how about you go first? Tell us what you think. So we're going to try the oxtail. Uh -huh. Looks nice. Yes. Tender. Okay. You know, I've heard with our oxtail, since there are a lot of bones, you need to. Right. You might have to go in with your hand at some point. But right. since we're on TV, <laughs> it, it, it we have to go right. on TV. Right. It was cooked so, right. Okay. Very good. Um, very good. It has good taste to it. It's yeah. not nothing over there. So, okay. Something I can, I would probably get again. Okay. And the rice and peas, you can't fail with the rice and peas. So. Okay. Hi, Miss Chopper. <laughs> How about your fish? All right, I'll try it. You guys okay. remember, this is my first time ever having Caribbean food, so let's see how this goes. Yeah, brace yourself. You'll be just fine. Let's see. It tastes like fish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Mm -hmm. What do you think? You can get a little pepper in there. Okay. Yes. This is really good. Tender, moist, it's not all dry. Yeah. Try some of this. Well, this cabbage, right? Yeah. Mmm. This is good. She's in the back, people. Mm -hmm. She's you guys want me over? It's all Caribbean right now. Awkward. <laughs> well, let me try my jerk chicken. I, I usually love jerk chicken, mm -hmm. so I'm pretty sure I like this as well. So let's let's dig in. See how we're feeling the jerk chicken. How is it? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Usually, you get some people that give you jerk chicken, and it doesn't have that. Because jerk is supposed to be spicy. Right. This one had a kick. It has a spice, so that's good. I'll try the cabbage. I'm sure rice and peas is going to be fine too, but. I mean, it's good. Yes? Let me give you my two thumbs up. Woo! Pretty good. I love it, I love it. Good stuff. Caribbean Queen is kicking it off. Yeah. This is good. They Very want good. me over. Yeah. Well, we're back and I'm full. Obi. Yeah, it's been an amazing day. It really has. Percy, yes. how have you had your time today with us? I'd like to thank you guys for having me. It's been a good time. Yes. Well, thank you for coming. Thank you for coming, really. So what we do here, 
uh, the platter. We're going to go ahead and give our three Fs, you guys, for the film, fashion, and food. Okay, I was thinking, like, are we failing people? No. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely no fail. Yes, Unless, yes. It's, you know, it's possible. You know, we always give our honest opinion, regardless of whatever. I agree. So, Percy, let's start with you since you're our guest. Okay. What are, how many Fs do you give for the film, fashion, and food? Uh, overall experience, mm-hmm. I'm gonna give it three Fs. I enjoyed the movie. Okay. The food was great. And the fashion in the movie, I thought it was alright. Like, I love that Howard sweater girl rock on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. Obi? Yeah, I'm gonna give it a three. Don't wanna be the party pooper, but uh, this one, I'm, I'm gonna go with two and a half. Or even two and. Let me give it a two and a half. Just two and a half. Two and a half overall experience and. The overall experience on uh, fashion, I'm good with it. Uh, food, love the food. The drink, I, I'm not so sure about the lemonade. There's this okay. aftertaste, I can't, I don't know what it is, but. Okay, that's um, fair. And then the, the movie itself, I said it from the beginning. Uh, it just wasn't me this time around. It wasn't my thing. Um, so, let me not say it's not my thing. Maybe I have to go watch it again. Right. That's just me being honest. Um, so I'll, I'll go with two and a half. Okay. Well, I'm going to give the film two and a half just because it was scary. And I couldn't really figure out the plot until afterwards. Um, but the food, definitely a three. Oh, yeah. Um, the drink, mm, I'll give it a three as well. But my overall experience, I'd give it a three. Just because. I mean, it was, it was good. The movie was good. I'm not going to say it was horrible or anything like that. I just got confused. I just couldn't pin it all together all at once. Yeah. But that's how it goes. So we can give the movie two and a half and get the overall. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm not doing this right. You know, okay. So. Maybe I'm not doing this. I just need to address it. Okay. I don't want our viewers to feel a certain way. That is true. We don't. So if... I don't even, let's say I, I, I'm not feeling the movie that much. Right. And I give it two and a half. Yes. My overall experience can still be three. Exactly. Three Fs. Yes. Good to know. So. Good to know, but I'm going to stay at two, uh, two and a half. Okay. You know what? But at least now I know. Okay. All right. Good we'll to know. keep Good it. To know. We'll Good keep it. Good yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Okay. Most definitely. So, thank you again. Yes, coming. thank you for coming. We really do appreciate you coming here, and um, hopefully you can join us for another episode. Or we'll let you yeah, know we'll because you. we love your feedback. And mm-hmm. I mean, there were things about the movie you talked to me about that I didn't even think about. So right. we really love your opinion on this. So, <clears throat> so again, it's uh, we're at the end of the show. Uh, <laughs> the platter, Obi, Tanis. And uh, we do want to say thank you for coming into our place and us coming to your home. Remember, it's the platter, film, fashion, food. Until next time, have a good day. Ciao. Billy Ocean. Ocean. <laughs> Caribbean Queen mm-hmm. will be sharing the same. And as long as there be as one, no more love on the run. I know, I know. My <laughs> age. Y'all know my age. I'm old, but. I just have an old. So. We just have to. Right? Yeah, there you go. Know. <laughs>